And then we're going to go across. Make sure, you, make sure you're not doing this like disco time, but make sure your arm comes across that body and up high and stretch. And then the other arm is out and comes across your body and stretch. And then we're going to go straight across and straight across and then down to the ground and down to the ground. And now we're going to hang upside down. We're not going to look at the floor. I don't want your body to be an ironing board. For those that know what an ironing board is, I want you to relax your neck so that you are looking behind you. And you're very gently going to swing your whole upper body side to side. Just let it swing. And then we're going to come up. And we're going to get a little dizzy. We're not going to get so dizzy that we fall down. Those of you who are little kids in this group with me, we're just gonna get a little dizzy. So go ahead and spin around a few times. And then come to a stop and take nice deep breaths. And then we're gonna spin the other direction. Spin around. And come to a stop. And end with some nice deep breaths. We want to thank Anne Green Gilbert for developing that brain dance. So thank you, Anne. And now we are ready to move. We are going to dance to this book. So many feet. So many feet. And its author is Nicole Mara. And the painter, the illustrator is Alexander Vidal. High feet. A mountain goat's toes help it climb and hold on to the smallest bits of rock. Now, like I said, we are not mountain goats, are we? We know how to dance high. So, what I want you to do is I want you to make a frozen shape that's high. And then when the music starts, we're going to do different ways of moving up high. So wait for the music, but freeze your shape. Whoops, wrong song. There we go. So, we are skipping high. Everybody skip high. And now try sliding high. How about galloping? Can you gallop high? And just walk high. Walk high. Whoa, so high. How can you move high? Create your own way to move high. How high can you get your feet? Awesome. Awesome way to go, you guys. Lots of high movement there. The next one is slow feet. Giant tortoises move slowly, carrying their very heavy bodies on their small feet. Now, remember, we're not tortoises, so we don't have to get down and crawl on all four. We're gonna move in slow motion. Now, I move so slow sometimes that my grandkids can hardly tell I'm moving. You might wanna move a little bit faster than that, but I wanna see super slow motion when the music starts. So make, your interesting beginning shape. And when the music starts, start your slow dance. Thank you. 
That was awesome. You know what I forgot to do about that page? I forgot that to talk about their very heavy bodies. I forgot to say we're going to make our bodies strong and heavy while we're moving slow. I apologize for leaving that out. Next, uh, fast feet. An ostrich has two strong toes on each foot that help it run fast. Now, some of you have larger room that you can really move around super fast, but guess what? You don't have to have a big space to move fast. You can move fast. Right in place and move it crazy fast. So this time I don't have fast, crazy, fast music. And I forgot my drum. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to clap. And so when I clap, I want you to super move fast. You can skip fast. You can run fast. You can gallop fast. You can walk fast. You can do all kinds of jump fast. So get ready. Make your beginning statue. And fast, 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 How fast can you move? Oh yeah, crazy fast, 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 and freeze. Oh, good freezing. Let's go fast again. And freeze. Oh, catch your breath. Catch your breath. And now we go to snow feet. A polar bear's feet spread wide to keep it from sinking into the snow. So, we are going to dance wide, big wide shape. So your beginning shape should be a big wide shape. And when the music starts, begin your big wide snow dance. Big wide, big and wide, try skipping wide, try sliding wide, can you do big wide jumps, and walking wide, I wonder if you're with someone, if, because I see some of you are dancing, I'm gonna see how wide my wife and I are big, how wide our shape can be. So you guys that are dancing alone, maybe you can find a prop, like a chair, and see how wide your shape can be. So get with someone and see how wide your shape can be. My wife and I can almost reach across the room. <laughs> All right, you guys, way to go. Next. Oh, look at that. Someone's playing with a prop. They're making a big wide shape. <laughs> oh, look what's next. Dancing feet. The shovel snouted lizard. <gasps> shovel snouted lizard. I hope you learned a new animal today. Look at the look at his nose. It's just like a shovel. The shovel snouted lizard moves quickly. So the hot desert sand doesn't burn its feet. Oh, you guys, here's what's gonna happen. When the music starts, the floor that you're dancing on is gonna become super hot. And so your feet are not gonna wanna be on it for very long. You're gonna have to keep your feet up as much as possible. So wait for the music and show me your dancing feet moves. Welcome to our little show. We're telling you why we're here. Just a little song is what we know, and we're rapping it loud and clear. Glad you came. Please feel at home. The show is about to start. We're here together, no one's alone. So listen with your eyes and hearts. Get on the show. Oh. Woo. Okay. Ready? Lift your foot up and blow it off. Woo. Cool off your feet. Cool off your feet. Hot feet. Hot feet. Woo. Oh, oh boy. Hot feet. Oh, I hope none of your feet got blisters. Jumping feet. 
a kangaroo's long, strong feet are just right for jumping. Now remember, I didn't see any kangaroos in there, so we're not gonna pretend we're kangaroos. We're gonna jump in as many ways as possible. We can jump backwards, we can jump, jump uh, side to side, we can jump super fast. We, ooh, I wonder, can dancers jump in slow motion? Can you try to trick your audience? and pretend you're jumping up, 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 up. But of course you can't leave the ground because then gravity will make you come down fast. But maybe go up on your toes and then back down. So show me your jumping feet when the music starts. Don't forget to jump with your arms and your back too. Your whole body's jumping. Oh boy, my wife and I are breathing hard. Jumping really makes you work hard. And guess what? We get a chance to rest. Hanging feet. A sloth's hook-like claws allow it to hang from tree branches. Now, is there anybody out there in our room that wants to share, I hope it's a kid and not an adult, what they know about sloths and how they move. Does anybody want to turn on their mic and share? Go ahead and just shout it out. Okay. They move slow. They move super slow. You're right. And I mean slow, so slow. Guess what? Algae. It's like a plant grows on their fur because they hardly ever move. So this is going to be another slow dance. But unlike the tortoise dance, it says hanging feet. So that's pretty lazy brain. If we just do that with our arm and hand, what other body parts can we use to hang with? Can you hang on your neck? Can you hang on your arm? Can you hang upside down on your legs? <gasps> Someone's shaking their head, no. I think you can. So when the music starts, let's start with a hanging shape to start with. So show me your hanging shapes. And then when the music starts, show me how slow you can move. Ooh, there's an upside down person hang, hanging on their legs. Get ready. Hanging is number four. the wrong song but that song worked oh this is a crazy one thumping feet did you know that elephants make a thumping sound by stomping their feet to warn each other of danger do you see the danger in the picture they stomp here's what's going to happen i i probably won't be able to hear you but this is how i do it when i teach kids in the classroom I don't play a song for this one. I have everybody freeze and I look around the room and then I yell, danger, and then everybody stomps. But I want you to know something about elephants, a little fun fact. When they actually walk, those great big bodies, their feet don't make a sound. They have special bone structures when they walk that their feet, you and I make more noise when we walk than elephants do. It's crazy, huh? So here's what's gonna happen. I want you to make a big shape like an elephant 
and freeze it. And then when I yell, danger, do your best thumping feet. But don't hurt your feet. Don't hurt your feet, okay? Are you ready? I'm looking around and I'm looking around. <gasps> danger! We're warning each other of the danger. Big thumping sounds. <sighs> and safe. The danger's gone. <gasps> Way to go, you guys. Way to care for each other. We need to do more of that as humans like the elephants do. Oh, this next one is hilarious. If any of you have access to, if you have in your house somewhere that you can run and get fast, if you have flippers, you know, like scuba divers wear and like body surfers wear, run and get them because this next one is really fun to wear. And if any of you saw the movie, um, what's the movie uh, where they get married on the island? Um, Mamma Mia. Oh, yeah. Mamma Mia. The men dance in flippers. It's hilarious. Wet feet. Ducks have webbed feet to help them swim. Now, I'm not going to go run and get my flippers, but I'm going to imagine on my feet, I have great big feet. My feet are sticking out another foot. So when I dance, when the music starts, I've got to be really careful and not step on my own feet. So get ready to do Show Me Your Wet Feet Dance. Let's continue that shoot. Can you flap them in the air? Show me your big wet feet. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, nice moves there. Way to stick those wet feet up in the air. I saw a lot of wet feet going up in the air. Oh, this is hilarious too. Glue feet. With its sticky feet, a gecko can climb up walls. I don't know if any of you live in an area where there are geckos. We don't have them here in Utah, but I've traveled to places. They climb straight up a wall with their sticky feet. So this time, I want to see your glue feet dance. Wait, Chris, how do you dance if our feet are glued to the floor? How are we going to dance? Well, maybe it's going to take some real muscle. Huh? Huh? Whoa! And I unglued it. And if you have a dancing partner, if you see them reach out for help, so glue your feet on the floor and reach out for help, Shannon, and I can help her get unstuck. So we can help each other get unstuck too. So get ready. When the music starts, try your best to move your move and unglue your feet and do your best glue foot dance. So get ready. Oh, 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 I'm gonna stick my foot on the street. Oh, it's stuck. Oh. <laughs> All right. Glue feet. Nice glue feet, everyone. The next. Soft feet. A tiger's feet are soft and padded so it can walk very quietly. Now, here's what I usually do in a classroom. I stand in the middle of the classroom and I close my eyes. And then I have the students move. And I have the classroom teacher watch and make sure, oh, there's a note coming up. Oh, three minutes left. Oh, we only have three minutes left. So I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna imagine all of you moving so quietly. Now, 
if you want to be lazy brain kind of, walking is real easy to do on soft, quiet feet. But I wonder, I wonder if you can skip on soft feet. I wonder if you can gallop on soft feet. Oh, I wonder if you can jump on soft, quiet feet. Give it a try. Actually, I'm not going to close my eyes. I'm going to watch everybody do their very best on soft feet. Go ahead and go. Oh, good. You guys are taking the challenge. I see someone skipping on soft. Ooh, there's someone jumping on soft feet. Oh, nice. Oh, look at those kids in the room. Connie and someone. Ooh, they're really, wow, they're really moving. I wonder if someone in that room can hear their soft feet. All right. Okay, and end your soft feet dance. We probably have a minute and a half. We got to end with this one, even though there's more in the book. <gasps> blue feet. Oh, my goodness. The male blue-footed booby. That's a funny name for a bird. Does a special dance to show off his very blue feet. So here's how we're going to end. You are going to do your very special dance. And I'm not going to dance this time because I'm going to watch you. And I'm going to really watch for who's doing the very best, best. Because guess what? You're trying to get your friend other birds attention you've got to get their attention so you've got to do a super duper dance so get ready when the music starts show me your blue footed booby dance 13 9 10 12 13 no we didn't go oh angry gilbert is remembering to dance with her whole body Oh, look at those kids. Look at Mike and Emmett. They're using their whole bodies. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at Deborah. Oh, Deborah. That was a, oh, Deborah. I like that. Nice, Connie. And oh, look at that iPhone person. Oh, yeah. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Woo. Oh, big shapes. <laughs> Well, everybody won that contest. Everybody was doing a super good job. Just to show you the rest of the book real quick before we join back in the in back, we have dirty feet. A mole's feet are shaped like shovels for digging in the dirt. And then we have scratchy feet, like a chicken. And then we have picky feet, which was so fun to dance because guess what? Butterflies, guess where their taste buds are? They're in their feet. Ooh, I would hate to have my taste buds on my feet but they go from flower to flower and they taste with their feet. And sometimes it's yummy and sometimes it's yucky. And then we have snatchy feet that the bats have so they can snatch insects up. So that's it. Thank you so much for being here today and joining me. Thank you so much. Way to dance, everybody. Thank you, Papa. You're welcome, Emma. <laughs> this is Maya. Oh, yay, Maya. <laughs> This is Maya and White and Haley and Anna. Thank you.